Hey there folks, I'm Ruby Juice, back with another Farm Sim Network or FSN tutorial. This time I want to focus on the Permit Center. Now if you've seen my how to use the wiki tutorial and you've browsed through the wiki on your own and you've gone to the guidelines and expected behaviors, you may have noticed that there are a bunch of different guidelines. There are also a series of laws and permits required, all kinds of things for the FSN. So how do you go about making sure you're on side when it comes to all of that stuff? Well, a big way of doing that is in the permit center. So if you go to interactions and the permit center, here is the permits area where you purchase your permits and renew them as necessary. So in the FSN, permits fall into four main categories. Permits for animals, logging, property, and skilled trades. So let's start out with the animal permits. Once you become a farm manager on the FSN, if you want to build an animal pen of any kind, you need to purchase a permit for that pen. So each animal enclosure requires its own permit. So here you see you can purchase permits for cows, pigs, horses, and sheep. Cows, pigs, and sheep all cost $10,000 each. Horses require $25,000 for the permit. Now, if you want to do logging on your server, you're going to need a logging permit. So the price does differ by server. So you see here on server one, Midwest Horizon, to get a permit to cut down one tree will cost you $320, whereas on Great Smoky Mountains, a permit for one tree will cost you $600. Scroll down to my server, number 19 Bjornholm, one tree costs $1,000 for the permit. So it does vary depending on the server. And you can get permits for either one tree, 10 trees, or 100 trees. Notice the price doesn't actually change, it's just an ease of use thing where you can buy a permit for multiple trees rather than having to go and buy one individually every time. It also provides you the ability to maybe, you know, buy the permit for three trees if you just have a, a little corner of your property you want to clean up, or if you want to do commercial logging, then you're going to need permits for a lot of trees. And there's also another permit if you want to do commercial logging, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So for property, in order to place any building, so any structure, a shed, a silo, a barn, anything like that, you're going to need a building permit. And it explains it right here. So building permits are required anytime you wish to place a structure on your property. Ensure you're not within 8 to 10 meters of a public roadway. And in order to measure that, you can use Alt and right click in the game to use the measure tool. And a building permit for any kind of building will cost you $5,000, regardless of which server you're on. There are also wildlife rehab permits. This feature, as of the time I'm making this video, isn't yet available, but it will be coming soon. And this is going to allow you to use one or more of your fields as a wildlife rehabilitation site. So you'd leave the field fallow. I would imagine maybe even have to plant it in grass. You generate an income off of that property. Uh, you might even get some random events requiring you do something to the field. But as I said, this is currently in development. Hopefully it'll be coming relatively soon. And finally, you've got skilled trades. Especially when you're first starting out in the FSN, the skilled trades are likely where you'll spend some money to get the appropriate licenses to do some work as a contractor. So you've got a number of different types of skilled trade permits. You have the applicator license, which is required for anybody, any farmer or contractor who wants to spray herbicide. And that's going to cost you $7,500. There's the CDL license, which is for anybody who wants to drive a semi. So CDL stands for Commercial Driver's License. And basically, if you're going to drive a truck, you need the license. Pretty straightforward, makes a lot of sense. Same thing in the real world where if you want to drive a large truck, you need the right license for it. That costs you $3,000. You can see I've got one here. Shows me when it expires. And at any time, I can hit Extend. It only costs $2,000 to extend. And it'll extend it 15 days from this date and time, not from the time that I hit renew. So you don't have to worry about spending the money and not actually getting enough time added on. It adds it on automatically from the end date that you've got there. The horse training license is required for any contractor looking to help with training horses. So if you are a farm owner, you need the horse permit to have the horse facility but you don't need the horse trainer license. So you don't need that as a farm manager. But if you're a contractor, 
and you want to be able to help out farmers or farm managers who have their own horses you want to ride the horses and take care of them make some money doing contracts that way you're going to need the horse trainer license it's going to cost you five thousand dollars and it's valid for 15 days which is just over a full year on the fsn because we're on three day seasons so 12 days in a year so you get a little more than a year out of that as i mentioned you can get tree permits but you also if you're going to be doing commercial logging operations need the licensed timber operator permit. The LTO is a requirement for anybody conducting logging operations larger than personal service. So essentially, if you're doing anything that you would think would be considered commercial logging, you're going to need this licensed timber operator. This license is valid for 15 days as well, and it's going to cost you $15,000. So the priciest of the different permits but also arguably the one that will make you the most money. If you're doing commercial logging, you could make a fair bit of money off of that. So you do need a significant permit to make sure that you're serious about it. And finally, we have the state agency cert. And the state agency certification allows you to qualify to take the course to work as an inspector or public safety official. So note that you first buy the permit or the state agency cert then you need to take one of the courses that Hans offers on how to be a police officer or inspector on the FSN. And then, and only then, can you start becoming a police officer or inspector and writing people fines for things like not having the appropriate permits or maybe leaving their equipment in places they shouldn't or not having it washed or repaired properly. So that certification, once you go through that process, is valid for five in-game years. So that would be about two months of real lifetime. And that one's going to cost you $3,500. And if you want to check out when any of the different courses are offered for that state agency cert, you can go to the calendar via the homepage there. And you can see here, usually they're offered on Saturdays. So pretty much every Saturday, maybe every other Saturday, they're offered at noon Eastern time. And there you go. That's all you need to know about the permit system on the Farm Sim Network or FSN. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.